I grew up with Taylor's music. Um, Fearless, Speak Now, like everything. Sarah Peters may remember all of Taylor Swift's songs, but there's one that really stands out. I would have to go with Fearless, just because I live with OCD and anxiety, and that can take a lot of your self-confidence and um, your bravery and courage. And so listening to the song really helps me, because it's like, be fearless. Put yourself out in the world. And she has. She just graduated college with a degree in psychology. She's published two books. Then came the chance to see the Queen of Pop Eras tour next week at Levi Stadium. So I didn't think the crowds would be manageable, but I've made a lot of progress and I think now it would be. They've since been searching for tickets that fit their budget. And like true Swifties, Sarah and her mom Tammy are even designing their own outfits. This is the Karma Cat. But after Tammy posted about the mother-daughter pan project, a fake Twitter account was set up using Sarah's identity, trying to scam people looking for tickets. The account is basically every tweet is selling Seattle Airs tour tickets. I don't want anyone to like associate me with something like that or be like, wait, that's that girl that scammed me. We got scammed in the worst possible way by facial recognition of my daughter just trying to start her life out. The family's concerned that Sarah could somehow be implicated in some wrongdoing, so they filed a police report. But police tell them since the fake account isn't using her credit cards or social security number, it's not identity theft. And since no crime has actually been committed, there isn't much they can do. They stole her picture. How is it not a crime to steal people's money? and post someone else's pictures as a perpetrator. It's just like, my head is spinning. How is that not a crime? Sarah isn't backing down. Taylor Swift has an album titled Reputation. Sarah is fighting to save hers. It's distressing, and I hope it doesn't go any further because that would just be devastating as I'm trying to start my life now, just graduating, so. In Livermore, Ansan Hassan, ABC7 News.